Hello and welcome back. So today we are going to be talking about the Ancom coffee canisters. We're going to be taking a little bit of a deeper look into how they work, uh, what makes them different from other coffee canisters. So we've been using these for about a week or so and we've got a pretty good idea of how they work. So first and foremost, um, they are available in a couple different colors. Um, here we've got the black and the gray, or what they call the semi-black. Now, um, obviously when storing coffee, anything that is transparent or that allows light to come through will actually degrade your coffee faster. So in that instance, uh, the black canister would be the better choice. The way that these canisters work is they've got the canister where you store your coffee, um, and then up here are attached to this lid part, you've got a seal and you've got a bit of a, sort of like a pump uh, built into the lid. Um, that removes all the air um, and the way that you open it is you remove the vacuum by clicking this button and that will allow the lid just to lift off like that um, at the bottom we've got a little uh, padded filter and just so that you can see the side view uh, there's this rubber seal that runs all around the lid now to reseal this what we'll have to do is we will have to uh, put our lid onto the canister, just placing it on top, and we're going to turn this a couple of rotations. And we're going to do it until we see that this little dimple has popped down. So as I release the vacuum, uh, watch carefully and you'll see that, see how the dimple kind of popped back up? Uh, so that's like the indicator as to when you know there is a vacuum or not. So once that vacuum is back in place, you can see the dimple again. Cool. So yeah, it's uh, pretty self-explanatory. They're super easy to operate. Uh, now when you're using these, uh, I find that you can turn it a couple of times for the dimple to come down. But any further than that, if you kept going and you know increase, if you kept going and turning the uh, lid here, that will increase the vacuum, and it means that uh, the vacuum won't die, um, and it means that the vacuum won't dissipate quicker. So you'll have a longer-lasting vacuum on your canister. Now I found for these, it should be about three or four days that the vacuum will hold. And that will depend on how fresh your coffee beans are. Uh, so the fresher they are, they will uh, let off all those gases, the carbon dioxide, and that will cause the vacuum to actually dissipate um, and this little dimple to pop up. Uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, if anything, I've had good results with coffee that's been sitting and aging, um, and then it's had to build up that uh, CO2 and it kind of just hangs in there with the coffee. Um, it is a bad thing when you are sort of in this environment and you've got coffee that's constantly being opened and closed and exposed to new lots of air. Also, just a quick little thing I wanted to talk about is that these are not a full vacuum. So when you are uh, turning this lid and opening and closing it, um, you're building up uh, pressure and it is uh, removing the air from this space, but it definitely isn't removing all of the air, creating a full vacuum. It's just removing most of the air. And this uh, stretches across, I believe, all of the vacuum canisters, not just the Ancom brand. These are the only canisters that we have been selling. They're the matte black. Uh, they're made from uh, stainless steel, I believe. They've got this reflective surface the seal um, and yeah very similar principle when it comes to closing these you just turn and the little green indicator will pop up when a vacuum is formed just like so put the little green indicator um, and then to open it again you just press that indicator is released and it removes the vacuum uh, so yeah we have been selling these in the black. I also have a clear glass one with some common Dante branding on it. Um, 
And yeah, we've had great results with these. They are durable, high quality uh, canisters. Not to say that the Ancom isn't a high quality or isn't durable, it just definitely doesn't have the same level of build quality that the fellow canisters do. So these two canisters, they've lasted me maybe two years and about a year now. Uh, the vacuum holds great, as you can see, um, and I haven't had any issues with them using them on the daily basis. Now, for the Ancom range, I'm going to say that they are definitely a lot cheaper than the Fellow range, um, and that also has to do with the build quality, the materials used, uh, all of the plastic parts compared to the glass and the metal. Uh, that might be a deal breaker for you, or if it doesn't matter for you and it's more about, you know, maybe you need to store more coffee beans or you need to uh, store more different coffee beans, having a lot of smaller ones of these. Uh, whereas if you were to do that with this and you have a lot of small uh, fellow Atmos canisters, they're about $40 each, so it's gonna, it's gonna add up real quick. Whereas you could easily purchase five, four of those um, and it will probably be half the cost of what you'd pay for the fellow. So it, it just depends on what you're valuing at the moment uh, for these canisters. Um, however, the user experience definitely is similar. Um, the materials don't phase me too much. I, I, I kind of appreciate them for what they are and how they operate. Um, and I definitely feel like I get equal amounts of uh, results from both of these canisters. So one thing that I quickly wanted to bring to your attention was the fingerprint aspect of things. Particularly the black coffee canister, it is an absolute fingerprint magnet. It's shiny, it, uh, this is, believe it or not, this is after I've just cleaned it. Uh, it's almost got this cloudy sort of greasy appearance. It definitely isn't the, uh, the finish that I feel does this canister justice. The smoke grey one, or the I think they call it the semi-black, these canisters, because they're transparent, they definitely don't have um, as much fingerprints, or uh, they don't look as dirty as the black ones do. The black ones, I'm telling you, they, they really do pick it up. So, just something to be weary of. Um, and if that's a deal breaker for you, then there you go. Uh, another really cool um, aspect that I haven't talked about yet with these canisters is that they do stack. So there is a space underneath the canister um, with some clearance. So they are stackable and they kind of interlock and sit comfortably on each other. They don't, uh, they don't interlock per se, like that was probably the wrong word to use, but they definitely do sit comfortably onto each other um, and stack well. So yeah, and that goes both ways uh, for these canisters. Okay, we're going to wrap things up there. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you've got any questions about these canisters or any of the products you've seen here today, uh, feel free to drop a comment down below. Uh, consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Happy brewing.